Good morning, everybody. Um, I am ready and dressed for my, I don't know, I'm going to use the Peloton app this morning. They have a dance fitness thing on there, and I'm going to try it out. I don't know if y'all know, but uh, Tania used to be a Zumba instructor, and so I had to let it go because I went back to nursing school, and then I wasn't really teaching anywhere, so to pay $30 a month to learn new choreography just to learn new choreography wasn't financially gainful so i dropped it but my homegirl um has zumba classes actually four days a week but i can only go two and the days that i can go i have to go when i'm off and today is one of those days but it's not until six o'clock tonight and i really want to dance i want to let some energy out so I'm gonna try this Peloton dance cardio thing that they got on their app and see how it goes. If it goes, it goes. I'll keep it. Peloton app is actually not that expensive. I do not own a bike. I ain't start making that kind of money yet, but I bought a bike from Walmart like that first year of COVID so I could work out and that year it worked fine because I worked, you know, seven to four. I would come home. I would do a workout, and but, but now I'm working six forty-five to seven fifteen, and it's just it's been getting a little harder. So I'm gonna put the effort in. I'm making the effort to get started a week before Thanksgiving. That's usually how it starts for me. But I'm starting, and that's what matters, right? Yeah. So quick update, uh, your girl is wet. That dance fitness on Peloton was no joke. I thought because I'm so used to doing Zumba that it would be, I don't know, it would be weird, but it, it, it was good. Like it took me back to high school when I was in dance choir, show choir, and we had to learn choreography move and then put all the choreography moves together. I don't know if y'all know. But Tania wanted to be backup dancer for Janet Jackson and NSYNC. And I didn't get that opportunity. I kind of wish I did now. But, you know, I've always been a thicker girl. So, you know, thick girls don't dance back up. Now they do. Back then they didn't. So, I'm actually still a little hype. So, I think I'm going to get in like a 20-minute Zumba workout, turn on YouTube and play some Zumba songs. And if the song come on, I know the choreography. I'm about to do them, y'all. I'm about to do it. What's good, everybody? It's Tania of the Breakfast Crew Podcast. Today is Wednesday, November 16th. 16th. <laughs> I don't even know why I even start off with the date because I don't remember the date. I never remember the time. Thank God I know where I'm at. I'm in Central Texas, y'all. Um, and it is 10 something in the morning. I'm going to start doing this podcast, a little vlog style, where I'm going to put up a video. Well, I will record a video two to three times during the week because usually I'm off three to four days a week sometimes. And upload probably on Saturday. That's my goal from here until I stop doing this, right? So we're coming to you from a chilly, chilly central Texas where it was, oh God, I think it was 35 degrees this morning. Harvest walked out of the house with the hat and gloves on by yours truly. Which is funny because I made her hats before and she wouldn't wear them. I made her a, oh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Sock head hat. And I made it out of this yarn that was dyed by a lady in New Brownsville, Texas, which I don't think she dyes anymore. And she has some little like drama surrounding her personality and characteristics or whatever anyway so I had bought two skeins of yarn and it was called harvest because naturally her name is harvest and I made her a hat well she don't wear it and I was a new knitter 
So I think I knitted on like a 24 inch cord instead of a 16 inch cord. So the rim is huge. So I think I'm going to rip it back now that I got my knitting machine and um, maybe knit it again. All that to say, she walked out of the house with a hat on her head. So um, I should do administrative type stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. So again, the Breakfast Crew podcast here on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram as the natural under underscore crow knitter eighty three on Instagram, and I am hooked for life on Ravelry. I'll put that down here because hooked for life is not spelled like how you think it is spelled. So I'll let you know that Harvest is. Wilson Harvest on Instagram and again her account is private. I control her account So if you go to try to follow her Just know that if you get denied it's because I did it not because she did it because she barely she's barely on it anyways um, Thank you all to like new coming subscribers. We appreciate y'all like every time Harvest see those number go up She like gets ecstatic. So thank y'all for putting a smile on my kids face like She's excited that people know her. She's excited that people watch her. She's excited that people watch us. And so, thank y'all. Uh, everybody who are returning viewers, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Like, y'all just don't understand. I think y'all do, but y'all don't. Like, y'all be making a girl feel a type of way. Like, a good type of way. And I, I appreciate that. Like, to know people are actually sitting out there on their couch, like I am, watching me on a big screen, like I do, like I do. It's a little, it's fun. This community is amazing. Anyways, I digress. So, um, I've been working on some things. I finally, I finally got yarn to start my test. So, I'm testing a, y'all saw it, I can't pronounce it, cardigan with no sleeve, thank God, for um, the Journey Chanel design. Um, she's the real Journey Chanel design on Instagram and then just Journey Chanel design on Ravelry. She has a new pattern coming out. I finally got some yarn. I wanted a like green, a dark green color. I saw it, I fell in love with it. Was like, okay, that's it. Went on Ravelry. Got the stash. The lady has not answered me on Ravelry or answered me through email. So I'm going to have to go through PayPal, get my money refund, and oh well, you missed your chance. So I went down to Gage Yarn Store, which is a yarn store in Austin. And I got um, eight skeins of this cream Barocco vintage. Actually, I think it's buttercream. Yeah, it's buttercream. And I got eight of these. Um, two, I think two of them were in the same dye lot and the other six were in a same dye lot. So right now I'm alternating, but they don't really look that different. Let me see. So these two are in the same dye lot, right? And then this one is in the dye lot of everything else. They look the same. They look the same, y'all. They look the same. Either way, I'm alternating rows just because. I had the lady at the yarn store wound up three, three balls so I can come home and get started, which I did. While I was at Gage, oh, well, y'all probably want to see what I started. Hmm. So it's a simple two-row repeat pattern. Um, the problem is, not problem, the, not hold up, what's the word? The delay, the delay on how this pattern will work out fast is what I have to do to get these texture bumps. So to get these texture bumps, I have to do something I don't normally do when I crochet, but this is called the Aphrodite cardigan and her patterns that have Aphrodite in the name of it all have this same stitch pattern. And it's a nice stitch pattern. It gives you um, texture and some depth and um, it pushes the, 
the V stitches that's on top to the front because you crochet behind of the stitch before it, I mean below it. So like I can do my doubles and I can go, you know, zoop, 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 zoop. But the way she has me doing these doubles, I can't do that. I have to like do this kind of thing. So it doesn't hurt my wrist, which I thought it would because I do have um, radial tendonitis or it's also known as decorvian's tendosynovitis. It's when you use the thumb too much and you cause um, uh, inflammation in the tendon that's going along your radial nerve. So sometimes I have to put certain projects down and switch off and work on my knitting project which doesn't cause me as much pain, but it does cause me some discomfort. Or I use a, what is it, copper, copper, what's the name of that company? Whatever. They have a compression glove, and I use the compression glove to put some pressure on the thumb so I don't move it too much. And that helps too. But I swear, the Corvian be getting on my the nerves i'm just saying so while i was there i pick up the morit spring summer magazine i lost my train of thought y'all i'm sorry the morit uh magazine so i have the fall and winter i bought the fall and winter did not know it was coming from edinburgh that's why i was stuttering over here i didn't know it was coming from edinburgh but that's, that's kind of exciting. I actually want to go to that yarn festival. I don't even know if they still have that yarn festival. Do y'all know? They might. Anyways, so I, oh, and they got this handy dandy, like little slippy paper, slip of paper to you, damn it, in the book to tell you that most of these patterns are written in UK terms, unless stated, I would think. Unless he say so, but if he don't say so, then I'm assuming... Ooh, girl, I see your boobs. Okay, sorry. Oh, no, she got on the... She got on the tan bra. My bad. I was about to say, yes, come on, Maureen. I know y'all like a little free over there in, in, in Europe, but I didn't know y'all was that free. Anyway, this is the pattern I was talking about. That's a cute pattern. But it looks like she don't have a... It looks like she don't have a top on, but she has a top on. But it's, you know, nude. Either way, I digress. So, I'm assuming if the pattern came from an American designer, it's in U U.S. terms. And if it's a... Yeah, that's what I'm going to assume. Oh, and it does it tell you, though? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it has Tunisian crochet in here as well. Yes, come on, Tunisian. Um, well, it doesn't say if it's a, a UK pattern, like a European pattern or a, an American designer. You mama. Where's she at? Oh, she in Ireland. Ooh. Okay, I'm sitting here talking. I can just show y'all. You mama. That's what I call my mama, mama. Anyways. And they have like, oh, this is pretty. That's some pretty yarn there. Yeah. She might, uh, she might just. And they also have a standard abbreviation section. And on that side, they got the UK section. I mean, the UK terms. But. Um, hmm. y'all know how to, oh, stop it. We got a whole recipe in here. Okay. Tamarind and garlic roasted papas or potatoes in Spanish. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to stop going through this book right now. But either way, so those are the things I got yesterday while I was at in Austin. Um, I got to stop doing this. Oh, 
I like her patterns, but sometimes that if this is work bottom up, I'm not gonna do it. I swear to God. This is called Spinadrift. Spinadrift. It's a cute pattern by Linda Scuja. She's the one that made the um, Isola talk that I made, and she designed the the Lou the Lao cardigan that I was going to make, but it was bottom up, and I was like, I'm not feeling this. So, either way, so I saw that, and it was the only magazine, like the last magazine, the last Morit engaged. And you know my motto: if it's the last one. And I have it. It's meant to be. Period. A lady that was in the yarn store yesterday, British, she thought that was an amazing model. I said, girl, live by it. It's something you should be doing. If it's the last thing you have it, that means you were supposed to have it. Period. Like, why? Life's too short to be buying things you ain't supposed to be buying. Oh, I'm in my, um, I'm in my, I'm drinking out of my San Antonio, Texas cup that we got when we went down to San Antonio for our anniversary in September. I don't like handles on the left-hand side. I'm right-handed. And when I drink, I want y'all to be able to see, not y'all, y'all, but, you know, people in the world to be able to see what cup I'm drinking out of. I don't know. I'm weird. So, I had a impromptu girl scout meeting yesterday well it was a leaders meeting we had a little incident at the scout house and they wanted to go over some safety issues or safety safety concerns sorry popos in the background safety concerns and how they're going to remedy those safety concerns and so i was able to work on some face cloths. No, some face scrubbies. I'm still in the process of making this face scrubby. But it's a simple, this again, it's like a simple three row pattern. And I made two. Just two. So I'm adding more to my already stack that I have. Bam. Added. So um, so two, four, six, now I got eight. I still got, I gotta get cranking though. They, they're not, they don't take long to make. I just, I need something to do while I'm making them. Like yes, last night. So, um, I will finish off this one while watching a movie probably. And then I'll probably, I'll probably try to get like two or three more colors done. I have a whole basket here. Whole basket of my cotton yarn dishy. And I have so many colors of dishy. This is that's bright. This is begonia. Never heard of that. I probably have, but I be acting like I ain't worldly, but I'm worldly. I'm just saying. Um I got some red one. What is this? Frosted red fiesta. Ooh, girl, English. Fiesta red. Some kind of corally color. What it says? Conch. Oh, I like me a good conch. Not 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 like that. Like the food. Conch is good. Um, being Caribbean, you know. Y'all know I gotta have my purple. What color this says? Mulberry. I have a darker, darker purple, but I think I used it already to make some washcloths. But I had got two of each color because, you know, silver. I wanted to be like K of the Crazy Sock Lady, thinking that I should get two of each color so I can make some dishcloths and, you know, blah, blah, blah. That was like three years ago. And I'm still trying to work on these bad boys. So, I do have some dishcloths made already. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to use them as dishcloths or washcloths. 
The only difference is when you wash with your body, that's when you wash your dishes. So, I don't know. I haven't figured it out. But I got this cute little basket. I had did a fiber share swap a few years ago. And I got a bunch of stuff in this basket. So, I repurposed it. I took all the stuff out. I got, like, uh, word puzzles and crossword puzzles and yarn and this and that and this and that. And I took it out and I repurposed it. So, that's that. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh work on my top here watch a little tv i got a friend of mine who daughter got pregnant she has a five month old now and the daughter still lives here in colleen but the mom and dad lives in oklahoma and the daughter's supposed to be visiting me today so i can see my cute little baby friend because i haven't seen the baby friend yet I saw the baby friend on Facebook, but it's not the same when you can see baby friend in person because mom and baby friend lives here in, in Colleen. Like, whatever. So that, and I, I don't think I'm doing that in a day because I work tomorrow and Friday. But I will be going to the East Texas Fiber Festival on Saturday. So I will take pictures. I will... Did I just elongate picture? Pictures? I did. Sorry, y'all. Anyways, I will take pictures, I will take videos, I will get, I will try, mm, try not to buy nothing. Let's see how that go. I'm not going to limit myself. I'm just going to say I'm going to try my best to not buy anything. We'll see. I caved in and I bought the Pretty Twisted Yarn Advent Calendar on Monday night. I saw an Instagram post. She was like, I got two left. And I was, and that post was three hours before I saw it. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll just go look. And I look and she still had it. I was like, oh, again, it was there. I was supposed to have it. I bought it. That's how it goes. Now I got to figure out patterns for all these doggone Advents. I have one, two, three. I have three Advents I haven't used yet. Oh, that's not bad. Because, let's see, I had two in 2019, three in 2020. I had four last year. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, because I've used some of them. So I had two. I had two Wonderluck Fiber one. Oh, I don't think I used one of those. Or did I? I used one. I haven't used the other one. So I still got that one. I had a Beachy Breeze um, advent calendar. I used that one. I had a uh, fiber, mm -mm, the fiber seed uh, advent. No, she had a Chanaka advent. She gave me eight 50 gram skein balls of yarn and I used it literally after Christmas. That's the first one I used. And then I just finished my Augusta shawl with my Savvy Skeen Advent. Okay. And then I did a I did a top a tea test um, for with my round table yarn advent. Okay, so I'm okay. And so now I have Macy of Mace of Skeen Advent. I have um, Fuzzy Whatnot Advent, and that, that's 12. Macy is 12, that's 12. And I still have my friend Dana of Unwind Yarns. She had a 24 uh, Mini Skein Advent. I haven't used that one yet. So I have three. Oh, okay. One of those Advent, probably a 24 Skein Advent, like my round table yarn one, is going to be a V-Back Tea by Jamie Hoffman. Yep. I think I'm going to do a big old Wonder Ball and just just knit i'm not going to try to figure out colors they're going to go in the days that i open them one through 24 because i'll need to try to fit oh okay sorry i just realized i got a halloween one from chicken coop either way i have one, two, two yarn advents coming to me. Already got my wool advent, as y'all saw. And then I have a stitch marker advent coming to me. And then I have, oh, I have a Kwanzaa box coming to me. So I got three yarn advents coming. Okay, we're not counting anymore. Either way, 
I'm going to go and try to be productive for the rest of the day. I'm going to Zumba later on tonight. I worked out earlier this morning, which y'all will see because I'm putting a little snippet. And that's how my Wednesday going to go. I'll probably be back Thursday after work. Yeah. We'll see. I have to, I have to because I want to upload on Saturday. And I'll upload after I come back. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to y'all later. In the LA class? Yes. What yep. was that about? I don't know. It was almost time for us to go. Oh. Uh, they didn't start fighting, did they? I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing. No. They didn't start fighting. They just were being weird. One mm -hmm. of them cut off the light twice and all of them started screaming like chickens. Because they're crazy kids. Either way, what's good, y'all? It is Friday, um, November 18th. Ha ha. And I hmm, had to work today and yesterday. And this is going to be the last day we podcast so I can put it up tomorrow. My last day? Well, because I podcast um, on two Wednesday. So I'm trying to podcast during the week, like little short videos during the week and then put it all together. But because when I'm off, you're in school, I have to do it either when you come home from school or when I get off from work. Hmm. So this is where we're at. So what do you got to show us today, Frank? Some doodles and a TikTok video that I made. Oh, did you make the TikTok video already? Two days or two or three days ago. Did you post it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll put it in. Tell me what it is. It's from Back Rooms. Is that a cartoon? Nope, it's a game. It's a horror game. Oh. So, like, what exactly is so the goal going on? So the goal is just to get through all the levels. Uh huh. And. We don't know how many levels it is, so it's called a pure phobia. Okay. A fear of infinity. That's oh. what the game is called. The game is called Empyrophobia. Mm-hmm. And it means in fear like the fear of things going on forever and forever? Yes. Oh, cool. Then there's and there's this one. Uh-huh. You have to speak up. I don't. It's okay, I'll call it back. This page is before, um, was when I was drawing on the bus. Mm hmm And I was very bright out of my mind, so I just had to think of something. You know what happened when I was bored today? You read a book. No, I got two patients to admit. Hmm. That's what happened when I got bored. So I think I will stop saying I'm bored. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, y'all, hold on one second. I'm not my art. Oh. TikTok video. Okay. So this one. We had a phone talk. We had a phone call. Yeah, sorry. We had a phone call. Uh, Harvest is supposed to be going to a friend's house tomorrow for. Um, to celebrate her birthday, I gotta get that light because it's anyway to celebrate her birthday and the place in which they were going to is partly outside and they paid for well mom paid for this like ultimate package well the ultimate package required you to be outside and outside is supposed to be raining tomorrow like cold and rainy it's supposed to be like thirty some degrees and like eighty five percent chance of rain no we're not doing that no. so. I was like, uh, are y'all going outside? Like, what are we doing? So we had to cancel. Either way, what's this girl? Yeah. TikTok video doodles. Oh, so you made this out of TikTok video? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I make my TikTok, uh, so I used to do it on my phone, but now I, uh, do it on, on Jones, so I can get better at it. Mm, yeah. Okay. So what I do is then I listen to the noise first. So I imagine it. The the noise or the music. The uh, like funny noises on the videos. Oh, so you so you pick your you pick your background music. You pick your background theme. Yep. And then I listen to it, uh -huh. and then and then you draw your inspiration from what you hear. I think about first. Right. Well. Right. 
I think about it first and then I do it in a couple of days, even during school. I do that too. I, apparently. I mean, as long as your grades ain't going to put, I guess that's okay. Mm-hmm. I'll do my work first. Yeah. You, yes. Remember who your parents are. Yep. Yep. I'm mostly scared of that. Thanks. Are you finished? Is this continuation of the TikTok video? Yes. Okay. Uh, this one on the bottom is the end of it. It's him grilling cheese. So basically, I need to put this TikTok video in. So all the so this one starts first. Okay. And it goes down here. Okay. And then over here starts. Okay. And this is the last one. Okay. So again, I need to put this TikTok video in. Yes. Okay. Where then, where should I put it in? Like right here? Maybe at the yeah, yeah. right here. Maybe right here. I'm hungry. So lick that coat. You smell like grilled a grilled cheese. What? Grill me a cheese. I'm not grilling you a cheese. Uh... What? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Okay, either way. And then, yeah. then this morning in first period, I drew SpongeBob. Ooh, I like this SpongeBob. Should we start singing? No, let's not sing. I'm okay. We're not singing. It's been a while since I've been in choir. Yeah, it's okay. But SpongeBob don't require you to have like an immaculate voice. All you need is who live in the. Move some pineapple under the sea. Sponge Bob Square Pants. That's it. That was it. That was it. More deals during first period. What what are you supposed to be doing during first period? What the class? Algebra. All we had to do was just uh finish our work that we had uh two days ago and that was already finished. Okay. So all he said was since if y'all are finished then we can just do whatever, just to not make a bunch of noise. Yes, and take them off. Uh-huh. Take him off. Oh, and make him mad. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I like this. This was during world uh, world geography. Okay. Y'all got a lot of times on y'all hand. Y'all, I hope you making A's and B's, friend. No, yeah. Okay. A, B's, and C's. Hmm. We shouldn't be making C's if we got time to do though. I'm working on it. Work on it, girl. I am. Work him out. I'm working on it. Alrighty. It's going up to a B. It's fine. Okay. No. It's, no okay. Mom's fine. Okay. We're not going to argue this on YouTube. Nothing. Okay, thanks. Um, You want to show him your mushroom earring? Yeah. <laughs> They're cute, right? Yep. Yeah. I got these from Hot Topic. Mm -hmm. And these are like. I wanted to make like a cottage chorus with like uh, fairy tales and stuff oh. with mushrooms. So cottage core. Cottage core. There's like different time. There's like different kinds. Like there's there's dream core. There's weird core. Oh. Cottage. What's a cottage though? Like a house? It's like that, but also like a fairy tale kind, like a fairy, like oh. a fairyland. Okay. Mushrooms and stuff. Okay. Okay. Well, um, oh, do me a favor. Go in my book bag, in the living room, open my book bag in the big part, and get my project bag. I got to show some progress. So, I've been working, like, diligently, I had to think about that word, on uh, my Nordic shawl, my Nordic sunrise shawl. And I have reached the point where I'm on my last row of brioche, yes. Where I'm on my last row of brioche, and then I get to do single brioche afterwards, and then garter. And are you gonna sit or are you done? I'm done. Okay, no joke of the day. I am. Oh, you want me to call you when I'm ready? Mm -hmm. See, this is like we're supposed to be podcasting together. We have. Oh Lord. Anyways. Always. Man. Okay, fine. So I got. I woke up at like. 5 15 this morning and i woke up early i don't know why we're, i had to use the bathroom but that was probably tmi but now y'all know um and 
I decided to get dressed and get my little self to work. And I sat on, in rather, I sat in my car in the parking lot waiting on time for me to clock in. So I was able to get through the last like little bit of the brioche section until I get to that one row of brioche in the in the third color. So I am literally trying to finish that row so I can start the second color brioche because I had to do one more repeat of the first row. So once I do this repeat, I can cut this color and then I can do my one color brioche with this color. What are these colors? What? Yeah, what are these colors? So this is the Hohi, which y'all probably know already, but I'll, I'll repeat it. It's the Hohi Trio set by Diane of Suburban Stitcher. So that was my color A, my color B, and my color C. Now, I don't, I don't remember which one is which, but, oh yeah, I do know this one. This is the Recoletto. No, I lie. This is Tango. Tango. Um, Rosdale. Okay, this is Rosdale. Tango. And then Recoletto. And she did like a a yarn trio kit for Hohi maybe two years ago. It was during COVID. So it was either the beginning of COVID. It was probably like 2020. And I bought this because it's Diane. That's, that's my boo thing. I'm going to get it from her. So I'll be done with this almost, and I'm excited because I'm ready for it to be off my needles. I started this in September. Here it is almost December. And the only reason why it took so long is because of the Brio section. It's not mindless, and so I have to put some thought into the Brio section. And even with thought, apparently, I can screw up. But who will know? Only me. Only me. So then... I showed y'all, I showed y'all my test, but I didn't show y'all that I was doing it in my bags by Delphinia, or did I? I might have. Either way, this is my bag. It's holding all of my yarn, and y'all know that I'm alternating between the two dye lots, which I can't really tell the difference. But I got 20 rows done. I don't think I had 20 rows done when y'all saw it, but now I have 20 rows done. I only, I think I only have like five or six. Now I got 20. So I'm happy. I'm gonna keep going. My plan is to do 20 rows a day because I have to get to row like 60 something. And if I do 20 rows a day, that means the next two days, I can be finished with the back panel and then I can start the lacy part that's on the bottom which is like another 10-15 rows and then I can start the front panel which I think I'm going to do the front panel not at the same time because I not like knitting but I'm going to do it simultaneously because I think she make you attach the one panel and then attach the other panel but I don't want to be flip flopping the back like that so I'm gonna just do the front panels and then I'm going to seam the panels to the back and then there's no shoulder to crochet so I will seam in the accent color which is the green that I have swatched in and that's I think I'm gonna do my lace in that color too so I'm gonna seam in the accent color seam around the shoulders seam the side and then border, um, border the uh, panels in that accent color. That's the plan. Hopefully I have enough yarn. I decided that I wanted a notebook to write all of my projects down in because sometimes I don't get on Ravelry enough. And when I think about it, like I've already done the project and I'm like, oh my God, what modification did I do? Yada, yada, yada. So I went to Walmart 
and I bought this cute little notebook and I started I started the notes for my test and so I'm going to just keep going um, I just thought I was going to wait until uh, January but why wait with why put off today what you can do why put off tomorrow what you can do today that's the second time I've said that saying. Y'all know what that means. It's a good motto. It's a good motto. So here's my notebook. And then I decided that I wanted some more uh, scrub caps. I don't have on any now because I want to show y'all the scrub caps that I got. So my friend Jennifer of Gin Bug Handmade on Instagram, and she's also on YouTube. She used to have a podcast. But she, you know, she put on her big girl panties and she decided to go back to nursing school to get her nurse practitioner. And so now she's working on that. But to uh, help her co-workers out at her hospital in North Click, she sold some uh, scrub caps and she was selling it for like a winter market. Well, I bought four scrub caps from her before. So I decided to buy five because she was giving out this amazing deal. Um, I want to say it's because of me, but probably not, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I don't feel special because I didn't, did, cause I got it. Oh God, words to you. Either way. So I bought five scrub caps and they're all of, they're the, I bought two of one kind, one style and three of, no. I bought four of one style and one of one. So this is the bouffant style. That's what she called it. Y'all, these things are too cute. I gotta come up close. So put the cap on. And then you just you can wear it like this. You can wear it where it's kind of like up like this, cause you know, mm, eyes cute. Or you can, I got too many lights on, hold on. Okay, I'm back, that's better. So let me put this up a little bit so you can see my head. So here, you know, and then in the back, she has a little um, elastic and you can cinch it so that it, it's tighter on your head. So I have a weird occipital divot right here and so hats sit weird on my head. So I like these. So that's one. These ones I have to tie, um, but she still gave me the option to put the cinch on the back. This is a, that's a, I think, those were the full bouffants. Um, I don't remember what style these one are. So let's see, I would cinch in the back to make it tight, which, oh, I like that. And then I would wrap around here and tie, do a quick little bow, and um, Tuck in. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. You know. Okay, Jennifer girl. I see you. This is my um, mistletoe. My mistletoe. Mm -hmm. I might have to take some pictures and pop them in so y'all can see. And then um, because I am a kid at heart, I got the Heart Wheels one. And you put it on the same way. And I have enough room in the back here that I can put my hair in a in a little uh, ponytail. And, you know, whatever. But I w I'm thinking, I was thinking about getting some buttons on the end so I can putting my mask, you know, like right here. Let's see what y'all think. I like this Hot Wheel. That's cute. And then you just untie. 
Um, gotta have Baby Yoda. That's not Baby Yoda's name, but I call Baby Yoda Baby Yoda. Tell me different. <laughs> okay, so cinch. Y'all, this is a lot of work for my fat arms. And tie. You know, sometimes I tie around the back and then come across so it makes it a little tighter. And then I don't get a bow necessarily, but I just tie a little knot. There we go. Or if I have hair in the back, like when I have my hair braided, I'll put the, the hair in the back. And then I would tie it around my bun in the back. So, yeah. There you go, baby Yoda. And last but not least, I bought two holiday themed ones from her. I got a snowman. Because the snowman was just way too cute not to get. Um, cinch this bad boy right on up. Okay, so I have to admit, her cinch, the last time her cinch was, I mean, the elastic in the back was a little too long. And so when I would cinch, I didn't feel like I was cinching, if that makes sense. But now, I feel that I'm cinching. Like, it's tight on my head. I feel like it's not going anywhere. And I just, I just love it. And I can also pull tighter too, but you know, whatever. You do a quick little bow. And as long as the bow don't fall in my face so I can't see. Oh, chingo. The bow don't fall in my face so I can't see. I, I don't have a problem, but I love these things. So thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate them. I was going to buy some scrub caps from some place. I forgot where I was going. Some place I saw on Instagram. But when I saw her put up uh, an Instagram post saying that she was going to, she was selling them and then taking them to the market. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and get some for my friend here. Okay, brought it down a little bit. So. Another thing I bought that came in today, thank you, Miss Teresa of Pretty Twisted Yarns. So I was on my Instagram page on Monday, and here I am laying across the bed, and I'm scrolling, and the next thing you know, I saw, hey, I have two Advents left in the shop. If you want to get them, get them now. And I was like, mm, do I need another Advent? Mm, no, I don't need another Advent. I got another Advent. And it came today. Pretty Twisted Yarns. Advent ready to pull out. Here's day one, I believe. Yep. So, come December 1st, I will be opening my first ever Pretty Twisted Yarn Advent. This is my first yarn from her ever. So, I'm excited about this. So, now I just have to wait on my Gem Lux Fibers yarn. And... I don't know when my chicken coop dye work Kwanzaa box is coming, but it probably won't come until like the first or second week of December since it's for Kwanzaa and not for Christmas. So I'm excited to do that. Yeah. So I finished. So I finished Sweet Magnolia. Sweet Magnolia was amazing. I hate the way that they ended it, but I'm looking forward to season three, even though season three don't come out till like March 2023. It's okay. I'll have other things to do and or watch to pass the time. So that I'm almost, well, no, I'm not almost done. I would say I'm almost done with Crush, but I still got like seven hours left. And I haven't read anything else yet, but it's getting interesting. Now I'm thinking, so my coworker told me about this. Sorry, I talk with my hands. My coworker told me about this. I'm excited to see who her, like, 
I know who her love triangle is with. I'm just excited to see how it plays out. Even though you tell me little bits of the story, don't think I ain't going to read them. I'm going to read them because I need to know what's going on. I nosy like that. I need to know. That's I just nosy. But either way, I am going to bid y'all adieu. I have many, many things to do today or tonight. One including washing clothes, as y'all might hear clothes drying in the dry. Many things to do. Um, I gotta wash clothes. I gotta help Harvest make uh, Oreo cheesecake because she's having a Girl Scout uh, dinner party on Sunday. She's gonna get her dinner badge, dinner party badge. She's gonna get her cooking badge. And there's one other badge they're gonna get. Uh, I have to prepare myself for the East Texas Fiber Festival tomorrow. I have many people I want to see there. Not a lot of things I want to get there because I already got enough things. So, that's that. You know what? She want to be here and she want to be in her room and she want to do all these other things that don't include me. I guess y'all ain't going to get a joke of the day. But it's okay. Y'all get one next week. Be who you are. Do what you do. Be the best at what you do. Because who gonna do it? You. Peace out, girl. It's kind of drier right now. What? Oh, oh. It's the... It's the thread. Either way.